The number of people in Bear County who voted yesterday surpassed this year's first day totals, which were close to record numbers. 34,426 people voted yesterday, which is also more than voted on the fourth day of early voting in both 2010 and 2014 combined. San Antonio Water System will be receiving federal funding to explore developing constructed wetlands to improve the ecosystem habitat and the overall quality of Mitchell Lake. Saws and the Army Corps of Engineers are exploring feasibility of developing water filtering wetlands to expand the natural area and the ecosystem habitat. Tony Casada with the San Antonio Business Journal joins us with the business news update. Thanks Sherry. The political action committee opposing three proposed city charter amendments on the November 6th ballot has raised about 1.3 million dollars largely from the local business community. The PAC called Secure San Antonio's Future received some six-figure contributions from wealthy individuals and major employers. The money is going toward the Go Vote No campaign urging city voters to reject propositions A, B, and C, which were put on the ballot through the local firefighter union's efforts. Valero Energy beat analysts' expectations for its third quarter financial performance. For the quarter, Valero reported $856 million in net income on $30.8 billion in revenue, yielding earnings per share of $2.01. Thanks, Tony. Find links to these stories at klrn.org news.